Well, it is a major setback uh, for the ruling party, particularly uh, the former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, who was himself disqualified on somewhat similar charges uh, back in July last year. Khwaja Asif uh, was a veteran and he remained with the party and particularly uh, he remained undefeated since 1992 in all those parliamentary elections from his home constituency in central Punjab. But more importantly, he uh, firmly stood behind uh, the former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif in all those difficult times, even uh, after the 1999 military coup against uh, the government of the former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. So in that sense, he uh, is very key leader uh, for the ruling Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz. So his critics and opponents may be celebrating his ouster, but his disqualification is certainly a big loss for the PML and, and the former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, and that too just ahead of the crucial parliamentary elections in Pakistan. So can Asif and the party come back from this? Because Asif says he's going to appeal. Yes, exactly. This is what uh, he has been saying uh, since uh, this uh, ruling came from uh, the court in Islamabad, that uh, he still maintains that he did not commit any wrongdoing. So he plans to challenge the court ruling in the Supreme Court of Pakistan. So it all depends on the Supreme Court of Pakistan. If the Supreme Court of Pakistan uh, uh, overrules uh, uh, the verdict of Islamabad High Court, then there is every likelihood that uh, the former or the ousted foreign minister can make a comeback. But it is a very difficult proposition at this point in time because uh, the Supreme Court judges have also taken a very strong view because uh, uh, the former or uh, the foreign minister has been disqualified under a similar clause under which the former prime minister Nawaz Sharif has been ousted uh, in July last year. So.